This is Daria Shabad with Corporate Profile reporting on the news for Thursday, June 20th, 2013. Today in the news, soprano star James Gandolfini has died of a heart attack in Italy. WikiLeaks founder Assange is helping NSA whistleblower Snowden. Dolce & Gabbana has been convicted of tax evasion. And Pirate Bay founder is sentenced to two years in a Sweden hacking case. James Gandolfini, the Hollywood heavyweight who won multiple Emmy Awards for his role as mob boss Tony Soprano in the smash HBO series The Sopranos died of a heart attack yesterday. He was only 51 years old. This has been a great shock to fans and the acting community. Gandolfini was vacationing with his sister and his 13-year-old son when he suffered the heart attack. David Chase, the creator of The Sopranos, said James Gandolfini was a genius and that anyone who saw him, even in the smallest of his performances, knows that. He is one of the greatest actors of this or any time. Rest in peace. We send much strength to his grieving family and friends. WikiLeaks founder Julian Assange said that his anti-secrecy group has been in touch with National Security Agency whistleblower Edward Snowden's legal team in a bid to help him secure asylum in Iceland. In a conference call with reporters, Assange said he feels a great deal of personal sympathy with Mr. Snowden. He joined the call from the Ecuadorian embassy in London where he has lived since entering the diplomatic mission and seeking asylum exactly one year ago. An Italian court yesterday sent in celebrated fashion house duo Domenico Dolce and Stefano Gabbana to one year and eight months in prison for avoiding taxes totaling about $266 million. The two were also ordered by the court in Milan to pay a fine of about $665,000 to Italy's National Tax Agency. Lawyers for Dolce & Gabbana immediately said they will appeal, and under Italian law, the sentence will be suspended in the meantime. Italy is considered one of Europe's most notorious country for corruption and tax evasion, and it looks like the state has seriously started to crack down on widespread tax evasion in an effort to raise government revenues following the global economic crisis. A co-founder of file-sharing website Pirate Bay was sentenced to two years in jail today for hacking into computers at a company that manages data for Swedish authorities and making illegal online money transfers. Gottfried Swartholm Wark was extradited to Sweden last year from Cambodia to begin a one-year jail sentence after being convicted in 2009 of internet piracy. He was then charged by authorities as part of the separate hacking investigation. I'm Daria Shabad with Corporate Profile. Make sure to visit our website at corporateprofile.com for more top headlines from around the world as well as interesting business profiles. Post your comments, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.